In this video, I will be demonstrating the correct step-by-step -step testing methods for level five minced and moist. The emphasis at this level is on softness and size restriction. At this level, there is limited chewing involved as you can use your tongue to break down the tender food. Pieces should be no larger than four millimeters by four millimeters. This is easy to measure because it's the distance between two prongs of a fork. It's possible for one side to be up to 15 millimetres in length, equivalent to the distance between the outside two prongs of a fork. This would allow for a piece of well-cooked orzo pasta or rice. The size restriction applies to all solid foods at this level. Foods should be extremely well cooked but moist. If you mash them with a fork, they should easily squash down and separate through the prongs of the fork. Your thumbnail shouldn't turn white when running this test, so very little pressure is needed. Any foods that are not well cooked enough or al dente would not pass this test and would need more cooking. The food should also sit in a mound on the fork and not drop through the prongs. Food at level five should also be able to hold its shape on the spoon. When we tilt the spoon, however, it will slide off to show us it's not too sticky. There should be very little left on the spoon. So the food must pass all of the tests before being served. Finely mashed or chopped, very tender minced turkey or chicken or fish could be good options here. Gravy or sauce should be nice and thick. Finely milled rolled porridge oats, well cooked with lots of milk or cream could be appropriate. These are just ideas. In all instances, the ITSI tests must be run to ensure the dish complies. If you liked this video, you may like our Facebook page. We post regular updates on our training courses and we share lots of useful and interesting information such as patient stories and recipes that pass these ITSI tests. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Or send us an email at dhc.dysphagiatraining at nhs.net.